you know, because I had to, and they boxed you. They were already boxed you, because if you try and make it sculpture and take it doesn't go very well. You can't, it's really, it's really great to stand up. And yeah, you've got, if something breaks, you then got to sort of add it on in another place.
that um, if I if I this Thai bit thing, this Thai bit thing, this country bit, and it went purple. So he was trying to find a synthetic version of that, uh, quinine, which is now called aniline, but instead of amoldine, which is it is nice purple and it is mold. There we go. So that's the story behind what it did say where it has a Um And then there's the yeah, the book. Is the thing in this space, um, and that is uh, a collection of uh, conversations with artists about um, how the mistake of cancer accident plays a part in their work, um, and that's in a lot of different ways. Every artist has, has done that in um, in different ways. Some socially, some uh, going from uh, working studio to a gallery space. Some how they use technology, some, um, some um, doing other things. There's a volcanologist involved as well. Uh, she works at the Met Office, uh, it's called Frankie, and uh, she talks about dispersion models, which is a way to uh, synthetically, not synthetically, digitally uh, map how, how a volcano's ash disperses itself, which is really interesting because obviously you think that's a chaotic thing, um, but it, it's sort of, it's like a, an algorithm thing that they have to use and there's a lot of responsibility on, on scientists now to be able to do that well. I think there was, um, Frankie was reminding me, although it was in the news, about, um, it was in Iceland I think, wasn't there, there was a volcano that went off and um, uh, a plane crashed, I think, or something like that happened. I can't remember exactly, but the scientists involved who could have preempted what happened there had yeah, gone to court because you know, it's like almost neglect. Yeah, predicting something like a volcano ash and where it might end up going. And that's, that's why, you know, there's two ways of looking at it, isn't there? You know, there's, there's the thing of uh, obviously the scientists are so good at what they do now and, and technology is so good at what it does that we can preempt a lot. So we've got control over the wall, but the other side of it is people's lives are uh, based on that. And if, if it goes badly, they can be held responsible for it. That's really difficult because obviously it's not just a volcano, there's probably things next to the volcano. So clouds, how clouds work, they probably play a part in it as well. So you can't, it's not, I don't think it's that simple. And that's something me and Frank have talked about as well. There was a Buckminster Fuller book propping up your video oh, yeah. last week, and now it's gone. Oh yeah. Did you take it, or has somebody else nicked <laughs> it? I didn't that. No, I took that. Yeah. Oh, it's, that's it's, all right then. I, I photocopied some pages, and they're in the book. Oh right. Downstairs. I'm amazed that who's noticed actually. Well, I was thinking of borrowing it. <laughs> but I'd have had to put something else in to prop up the video, wouldn't it's I? Really nice book. Yeah, it's really nice book. Yeah, really So it will be back there later yeah. on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's what's happening with the Exeter then? Are you are you gonna pursue the idea again, or is, is that it? And it's and we've got yeah, nothing about the the show. I'm done with that. Unfortunately, because that's the thing, like it started off with something I thought it could become a physical thing, but, um, but I can't see, I can't see a way for it to work like that, with it. I can't, I, it, and in a way, because of how they've had done it, I sort of expected that it might happen. Yeah. So, yeah.